Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today is the FA Trophy first round. We take on Beaconsfield Town at home. Beaconsfield are currently in the Southern League. I'm not sure where they are in the league table, um, but they are the league below the National League South. Um, and, well, I'd probably say this is probably their biggest game in their history today. Um, I expect us to make changes. I mean, knowing Justin Edinburgh and how he takes competitions quite seriously, I doubt there'll be many changes. I think I think it'll be a mixed squad. I think there'll be a mixture of first team players um, and some of the fringe players. I'd like to see some of the younger players and some more of the fringe players. I'd like to see Sergeant, Lawless, Alabi, those kind of players start. Maybe um, Sotru and maybe Kipriano, I think that's how you say his name. Um, two youngsters as well. Um, but yeah, I know Justin Edinburgh came out in an article and said earlier on in the week that he wanted to win the FA Trophy. So we kind of going for the double with the league and the FA Trophy, which would be phenomenal. But in all honesty, I'm not really bothered by the FA Trophy this year. I think last year it was definitely something for us to to focus on because our kind of league season was pretty much over halfway. Well a bit over halfway through um, so we had this to concentrate on and obviously we ended up bl blowing it to Gateshead and um, I won't talk about that um, but yeah I don't think for me really I'm not prior prioritising this competition this year I think you know I just want to get out of this league I mean if you're going to play squad players and youngsters in it the whole way through and try and win it that way then you know what fair enough do that it's a good chance for to use your squad players and younger players in these kind of games when I don't feel like it really matters to us because we've just got to get out of this league and you want to play as little games with your first team players as you can to keep them fitter for um, for league matches so can Beaconsfield cause an upset today? I mean there will be upsets in the FA Trophy this weekend and I mean this is probably one of the if it was to happen, probably one of the biggest upsets in the FA Trophy that would ever have been. Um, I think it is possible. I mean, it's, it depends what kind of team we put out. You know, if, it's, if there's a lot of youngsters in there, then it becomes very possible. And, you know, I know Justin Enver takes his competition seriously. So, I mean, I think we'll get the job done. Score prediction today, I'm going to say 4-1 to Orin. Um, the West Stand is the only stand open for home supporters. Um, if there's... Uh, more of an, a bigger number that turn up then they'll open another stand so my view will be from the side from a different angle but yeah let's get down to Brisbane Road oh, it's a seat's cold we're going to sit I can watch the TV down oh. Oh. what Josh I think that's too bad, people. Let's go with it. Oh, I don't even play it. You take your box. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy with a goal. There he is. Happy. There he goes. Yeah. Go. Oh. 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 Oh, no one get up. Yeah. Come on, Josh. <laughs> no, steady yourself. That's going to go out. Oh, it's Literally, all right. It's going to blow in, Wood. Yeah, so it's going to go out. one more, I don't know. It's a handball. Get a little chain, what part of me? Go on, Effie. Cut down from the floor, Josh. Oh, it's right, 1-0. Yeah, 1-0. Um, could have been about 5 or 6. The atmosphere is so dead. No uh, segregation. I don't know why I bothered, but it's orient. That's why I bothered. Here he is, trying it out. Let me know your thoughts so As you can are. see, Roman's been it demolished it. What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Oh, it's a very nice pie match. There it's, you not, go. it's not the stuff that you um, just pull out a steak now, file out the um, little cupboard, and then just stick it with a bit of mash and a bit of liquor. But no, it's just proper stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. there you go. The Mashing connoisseur. a bit ropey, but proper stuff, yeah. Good marks from the connoisseur. Right. Second half just started. I'd quite like to get another goal because it could be extra time and penalties. So even though it's 1-0 and we, we were completely in control the first half, absolutely dominated the game. Could have been 4 or 5 nil probably. You know, that 1-0, they've always got a chance. So hopefully we just get that second goal, probably kill the game and make sure there's no extra time and re um, extra time penalties because I don't want to be standing out here any longer. Oh, oh, Brophy, there we go. Oh, probably oh, game over now. Is that Brophy? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't take me home. Just don't let me go. Two goals, two goals, two goals. Big George, big George. Dickinson scored both. Oh, he's dying. Yeah. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. No, let's see. A lot of coming off, Sachi coming on. Only a couple of appearances in for Sachi oh, now, but a good chance for him in the final third to express What's himself this you and maybe put it. Get yourself a goal. We're all down there, big centre-half. Doesn't the boat feet too? Yeah. We could go... Of course, that's it. What? The ball. That's a goal? Yeah! That's a goal. Sit you sitting up the wall, Jayden. No, it was great at the show. Oh! oh. That was a nice goal, didn't I? What did I say? What a goal! Stayed on, but got a corner in. No, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What are you cheering for? Right. Ready, Jane? Yeah. Come on, we're just going. I'm going to start. I'm going to head off now. We're heading off Bloody now. Cold. So, as you can see, I'm obviously back from the game, um, and you see the end bit that I did leave a couple of minutes early. Um, that's because. I wanted to get on the train a little bit earlier because um, I was absolutely freezing. Like I, I've been cold at football games. That's got to be up there. So the coldest I've been. That was, that was bad. That was a very cold day. The attendance was, was very low. It was um, 1,100 and something. And uh, I don't blame people that stayed at home. But you know, at least if we go all the way to the final, you can say, or well, I can say, I was there when we beat Beaconsfield Town in the first round. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the game. Um, it was one of those games, even at the start, where you just I felt there was no like urgency from Beaconsfield. I didn't feel like they actually came to win the game, which I feel like I know they're a few leagues below us, and I know it's a big ask, but I feel like you should always go to a game to try and win it, and I didn't feel they did. I didn't even feel like they tried to hold on for a point. Really, I just thought. I think the occasion probably did get to them because remember these players are very very part time um, and for most of these players will be the highlight of their career you know playing at Brisbane Road and they'll probably tell their they tell their grandkids you know it's one to tell them about um, and I think the occasion did get to them a little bit because I think the early goal well the fairly early goal didn't help of course I mean um, it, it's a bit of a setback but. You know, even I didn't feel at any point in the game they really threatened us at all. I, they just didn't attack much at all. They didn't have much going for them in terms of their football. It, it was a very poor game from from their point of view. I felt like we were so in control. You know, it was so easy. Um, but yeah, a few new faces in the team. Well, I mean. There was one new face in the team, really. Jaden Sweeney, the left back, 17 years old, played very well up there for man of the match on the poll from or in on Twitter, which is great to see because we don't really have a uh, cover left back for Widdison. Um You could say Brophy, but now Dayton's injured. You know, Brophy's much more useful out on the wing. Um, so having someone like Sweeney, Sweeney there as 
an option for Widdison if he gets suspended or he picks up an injury is good because it shows you know the fact that he's already played um, a senior game for us although of course it was against Beaconsfield but you know he was, he was very capable and looked quite promising so he's one to, to watch out for um, Dan Happy was excellent at the back as well he, I, I feel a bit sorry for him because I feel like he is a very good defender I mean he is a very good defender very calm on the ball you know very solid no nonsense and he's finding it hard to get into our um, back four with Ekpateta and Coulson there and I feel like he probably would get into any other back four in this league and uh, even to the top teams I just feel that's a real compliment to our youth system and to our squad the depth that we have I think I think he's a very good player and I think I'd be a bit uh, if I was him I'd be a little bit disappointed that I weren't getting more more appearances because again when he plays like he did today he puts in a great shift and, and a top performance um, the only player I thought was a bit dodgy really was Sam Ling again people like know probably that I'm not his biggest fan um, not that I would ever you know slate him in a a match or whatever and give him abuse then because there's no point you know you're only making his confidence deteriorate um, but I feel like you know we miss we miss Judd uh, being injured I think that's quite evident the fact that he's come on a long long way um, especially the, even in this short space of time in this season um, but you know it's not doesn't matter too much at the end of the day we did win 4-0 we did keep a clean sheet so and Ling was part of that defence, so I guess if you look at it that way, he didn't do much wrong, although he was a little bit dodgy. Um, I do feel like maybe Sargent should have played over Brill. I feel like Sargent has not been given a chance, well, he hasn't been given a chance at all since Edinburgh has come in. Brill's played every single game under Justin Edinburgh, and I get it, having a bit of continuity, but, you know, in a game like that, really, when Beaconsfield didn't even threaten us at all, I I'm not sure if they had one shot, they might have had one or two shots on target, but, you know, Sam is a good keeper and he he's another one like Dan Happy that I reckon is capable, more than capable of playing at this level. He showed it when he played at the end of League 2 when we got relegated that he was a decent keeper in a very poor poor side and he was even younger and less experienced then. So I feel like he should have played today in a game like this where when he's not getting a chance anyway. I do feel a little bit sorry for him. Um, a lot of talk about Alabi not being good enough at the minute. I'll give my verdict. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I don't think he's that bad. I feel like he offers something that other players don't. You know, the work ethic and um, the ability to to make things happen in the final third, which has happened a lot when he's come on as a bit of an impact sub. Um, and I think people are quite quick to look at his goal record and say that it's not that great but when you're a player coming off the bench you know and you're getting limited opportunities um, to find the net and you know you're not going to be scoring 10 goals by now you know you're not so I, I do feel a little bit harsh but I, I feel like it's a bit harsh criticism he's getting because I think he's doing a decent job coming off from the bench I feel like he, he is changing some of the games and you look especially last week against or the week before against Gateshead, um, and Halifax where he comes on and gets the gets the winner. Um, so games like that, you know, he's he's done well for us. Um, yeah, the team today was a bit of a mixture, seven changes, um, kind of what I expect, a little bit of a mix. Um, job done into the second round. Second round draw is on Monday. Um, who do I hope we get? I'm not even sure, I haven't even seen the results of this weekend's uh, FA, Trophy, FA Trophy results because I couldn't find them in a collection anywhere. I would quite like to maybe get, if they're still in it, Eastbourne are away, um, or Hereford away, I know they beat Billericay, uh, so maybe Hereford away would be a decent little um, away day, for old times sake, um, decent little ground. But yeah, not really too bothered who we get. And just concentrate on to the league next week end, which is our last game before Christmas when we take on Chesterfield at home, which will be a tough game because they've picked up a lot recently. Well, I say a lot. The last couple of games, I mean, they've won like 5 1 or whatever it was today against some Tim Pot team in the FA Trophy, and then they beat Salford 2 0. 
which done us a massive favour last week, but that's going to put confidence into them. They're going to be well up for it against us. I'm well aware this, in, this outro has gone on for a lot longer than normal, so I'll end it now. So please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next week at home to Chesterfield. Up the O's.